Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, this time on the New Zealand map, starting a brand new Fallow Deer Great One Grind. You may have noticed I started a brand new profile, started from level 1 on Emerald Coast and I just finished up my first Great One Fallow Deer Grind. So today's video we're going to talk about the drink times, the locations, I'll show you on the map some drink zones, and kind of how I set up my grind. This was by far one of the most quickest great one grinds I've had yet to date. So Fallow Deer is a class 4 animal so I am using the 308. Their drink times at 10 to 13 or 13.30. I normally set the clock at 11 o'clock because they like to show up late. So I started setting the clock around 10.15, 10.30 early on in the grind. Tried 10.45. They always seem to be late, so I set it to 11, and guess what? Sometimes they still just get in there, and you have to wait. The great one didn't show up till noonish. Sometimes the big level fives, they, they don't show up till good after 11.30 or so. So let's take a look at the map. We're going to start at the inlet. You can see I have several tents and tripods down there. So I go to the first tent on the south side. I have a tripod. Most of those have been shot down to level twos fast travel to the next tent and I use that third tent for pickup. Uh, this little cove right here has been absolutely astonishing. It has so many fallow deer. So this tent on the island I only use it to take a shot across the water. It's going to be over 300 yards but it's the best way to get to that spot to use the tent to fast travel and pick them up. Go to the next house they have another long shot across the river. Use that tent to pick them up. Now the other dark spot, I get some single males here and there that show up occasionally. Right across the bridge, I used to have a tent on that side to take the next uh, group of fallow deer right here, but now it's only a level two. And I fast travel to the next tent, take a shot at this herd over here, use a tent on the opposite side to fast travel to pick them up. Now there's also some single male drink zones that show up around this area. Um, probably to the north and south of that location. Now this tent over here, I've also had some single males show up. These two last drink zones all the way on the top of the mud flats, they're only level twos there, so I don't have to, to hunt there anymore. This lake right here, I've also had some single males. You can see there's still a drink zone here. Two or three males will pop up in that area every now and then. So this big lake, Lake Wakataki, so there's several drink zones and most of the ones are on the north side. There's only one way up there that has a level two. There's also some single males that show up on that side of the lake. If I use a tent on the west side, take a shot across the lake, fast travel to the next spot and pick them up. Now I'll show you that later on in the video. So this lake has a single male drink zones that pop up occasionally. And this herd right here has been consistent throughout the start of the game. So I fast travel here, take a shot, use the next tent to pick them up. So I can quickly get through the grind, kill as many fallow deer as I can. So this last drink zone right here, they've been shot down to level two. A couple of single males have popped up on the coastline over here. So let's take a look at another spot along the coast. So there's several zones right here. This one only has a level two. There are some single males that show up around here and to the north of my tent. So I have a tent here and I was hunting the ones on the south side right on the point. Another herd showed up or maybe I just didn't see them right by my tent. So it was kind of unusual because I never spotted them there before. So we are using the herd management for this grind. So we're only taking out the fallow deer. So level three is in level four. So every single one that's a level two gets to live another day. And hopefully this is going to get us some really cool trophies along the grind and hopefully some rare fur types. So I decided to go with this map and set up some other maps like Emerald Coast that I've been hunting a lot on lately. I haven't done a grind on this map in quite a while since I did the Red Deer grind, but it's no predators on this map. I love the fact that it's not thick and you have clear, visible shooting zones during the drink times. So now that we're going over all the zones I've found so far, and one more thing before we get into the actual grinding. If you guys are not subscribed already to the channel, be sure to do that. 
to it. A recent update has been some new fur types. So the white and the chocolate, those two are now my favorite fur types. Of course, they have the albino, the melanistic, the piebald, the dark, dark spotted, and the regular spotted follow deer. There are five fur types for the great ones. The fable golden, hooded, mocha, fable painted, and the fabled silver. So I'm hoping to get some nice diamonds for the trophy lodge, especially need a chocolate and a nice white diamond to add to my collection. So I just left the hut, making my way down to the coast. Now I have two level two males. So I'm probably not gonna have to hunt this herd again, but I'm still gonna leave that tent over there because single male drink zones do pop up occasionally along the coast, all the way over by the bridge. Now to my left where I'm at, there's a single male drink zone. Let's go check that out. I think they have some deer there. The drink don't drink zone still there, so let's place a waypoint and make our way over there. So I don't have any tripod set up for the single male drink zones. Normally there's one there. Once you shoot them, they disappear. That drink zone will disappear. Occasionally the same drink zones will reappear with some different single males, some bachelor fallow deer. We'll make our way there, see what pops up. Normally, I try to sneak up. Sometimes I just run up to the spot as they're running away. I try to get a shot on them as they're fleeing. Normally, they stop and pause just long enough for me to put the sights on a vital. Oh, it looks like there's one there, maybe two. Yep, there's a level three. It's like a chocolate fur type. He should be going down, so we'll run over and pick him up. Is that another? Yeah, it looks like another follow there. Whoa, look at that, level five. Oh my God, that is a guaranteed diamond. That's a big boy. So like I was saying in the beginning of the video, this has been one of my fastest grinds ever. 415 deer down. 415 harvests have not taken a single level five yet. So I have not taken any diamonds off. I just let the level five stay on the map. Trying to work on getting as many level two fallow deer as we can. So there's a nice level four over here on this herd. Looks like a white fur type. And of course, there's another one even bigger over here. Let's see if he's here. Nope, a level three. So of course, he's not showing up right now. But he's probably one of my biggest level fours. That's a diamond potential. All right, so let's get prone. We'll take out one of these low level ones. Still working on herd management. I'm gonna keep on doing that. Even though I've harvested a great one, I'm gonna keep on the herd management, see if I can get some more rare fur types. So that's a level four. He's far enough away. I'll try to get a shot on him. Looks like the first, uh, first shot, now he's calm. So he got attentive, but he didn't flee. Let's see if we can get a shot on him. Just kind of waiting for him. Pick his head up so I can see his chest. Oh, okay. Now, female deer is going to get in the way. Well, I can't wait here all day. Take her down. Right in there. He is down. That was some great shooting. So we'll use the other tent. We're gonna fast travel over there. We're gonna pick up this level four. Nice white fur type, love that fur type, as well as the chocolate. 239, our biggest buck of the day. Nice white fur type, which I'm in love with. So let's go to one more location, the inlet. One of my favorite places to hunt feral pigs and fallow deer. I'm also taking several diamond turkeys from this spot. So a nice size level four and we have a chocolate level five, which I think his day has come. It's time to take this guy out and see if he is a diamond. So 224, I don't know, man. 
I haven't shot him in the past. He's been there for a while and I was kind of wondering if, if he'll make an actual diamond or not. Gotten up so many trolls on Emerald Coast. The sandbar and the rooster deer were just ridiculous. The amount of trolls, the amount of level fours they had on Emerald Coast. The rooster deer had so many level fours and a bunch of them were just silvers. So I kind of figured that if I finally got a level five, he would more than likely be a troll. And so far I've gotten three trolls, rooster deers, and one albino sandbar that was a troll. So I'll probably never get another level five albino sandbar, but we'll see. We'll see if I get back on Emerald Coast and do some more grinding for a sandbar deer. So it looks like the level five, he's just giving me a nice broadside view. So I think his, his car is being called. I think it's time to take this guy out. Whoop, didn't mean to pull the trigger. Let's see if we can get a follow shot on this level four. That might take him down. One more shot, just to make him bleed a little bit more. So here's a chocolate, and he is a diamond. So wow, 250.59, just barely, barely across that line. 249.99, so 250 and higher. So he was about a half a point above what it takes, but I'll take it. So let's take a look at some great one action. So this guy showed up in a single male drink zone. So if you remember earlier in the video when I went down from the hut, walked down from the hut, went to the shoreline, took a long 300 yard shot across the river, used that tent to fast travel and pick him up. Well, he showed up in a single male drink zone. Let's see if we can call him in. So this was not my first time actually seeing him. I actually played around with him a few times trying to get the feel of when he was showing up into his drink zone which is around noon so he was really late to his drink zones followed him into the woods one time trying to sneak up real close to get a picture he got really close to me at one point where he was trying to walk back to his drink zone it's like they always know you're there they can just sense your presence that's why they call him a great one. He is a beautiful animal. Oh my God, just look at that fable deer. Majestic fallow deer. We'll take some pictures. Maybe one of these pictures will make it on a thumbnail. So he is nice and close, but now he sees me. So it's time to meet your maker. Takes his heart shot? No, I don't think so. I want to mess that up. Look at the muscles in his legs. One shot right in a single, single lung shot probably. Let's take a look. Try for a hot shot. Let's see if we got it. Beautiful animal. Beautiful, beautiful. So Fable Golden. 247 pounds. Very nice symmetrical rack. Left and right beams are both the same. Don't forget to taxidermy him. Have not done that so far on a great one, but I have done it on several diamonds. Just totally forgot. So I got him in one lung. That's all it takes to get him down. Look how thick he is, man. He has been working out. I think he was running be doing some wind sprints so I'm very excited to finally get my first great one follow there I think it's going to be a pretty fun grind anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you're brand new to the channel be sure to subscribe click that like button ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss out on any future uploads thanks for watching as always keep on hunting stay happy and I will see you next time